When I logged back into this account for the first time in almost 800 days, my stats were nothing to brag about. I had 12 days playtime, two thirds of my, over two thirds of my EXP was in fire making alone. But all of that's about to change. I want to give this account the second chance that so many other Inscape accounts don't get. This is going to be episode one of my Hardcore Iron Man series. I have no idea where I'll be taking it, but I didn't want to just jump right into a tile man that can't use the color green and needs to pickpocket like 2,000 men just so I can do sheep share. Like, that's just not happening, bud. But what I will do is, you know, run around in game like I can't find my ass with both hands in my back pocket. So I'm just going to try to relearn the game that I always love to play. And honestly, I'm feeling pretty excited. You know, RuneScape's a game you never truly quit. You might not play it, but you're still watching videos or, you know, something. After being away from the game for so long, you know, it has a new feeling. So many new content creators have been popping up at it. It kind of inspired me to just pull the trigger on making the RuneScape videos I always wanted to as a kid. I just never really got around to it. When I was playing pre-EOC, you know, I was addicted to Rune Shark, Silent Core, Taco Limey, to Noob Show. You know, those were some of the the old YouTubers, and it was chaos, but I loved it. You know, I had an absolute blast. You know, pre-EOC, I was mostly a PK. My main got banned for luring and. You know, I just kind of did PKing all the time. I was doing polypore breeding, hand cannon dar rocking, void rushing in the crossy. That was like so fun to me. And then when EOC came out, it ruined the PVP and I kind of quit, you know. And since then, I made an account, a berserker, uh, when Old School RuneScape first came out. Quit that after like four months. I didn't even do, you know, RFD. That's how much of a shitter I am. Since then, I've only played on two accounts. Uh, an unfinished Zerker that doesn't even have RFD that I made the day Old School RuneScape came out in like 2015. And I quit that after four months and then I made a hardcore Iron Man when I was spending an extended amount of time in the hospital. And other than that, you know, I haven't really played this game. I got 99 fire making and graceful and it, it's just, you know, I can't bring myself to kill this account, and I don't make a habit of giving up. I want to do bossing, pet hunting, the collection log, combat task raids. It all sounds so much fun, and I'll be seeing this through to the bitter end. You know, it's about the journey. Whether I die due to being a headass or lag, it doesn't really bother me. I just can't give up. And, you know, it kind of gives an accountability to the game. I want people to assume that my breath smells like Mountain Dew and my fingers are just caked in Dorito dust. That's how sweaty I want this account to be. I have a lot of plans for it and you know the regular Iron Man game mode doesn't appeal to me that much I like you know a hardcore Iron Man because it's like hey I've done this without dying other than that like ultimate Iron Man and regular Iron Man it's just like seems real tedious and you know there's even a youtuber named tedious out there and it's just you know it, it's all so funny but I couldn't I can't find fun in just a basic Iron Man so once this account dies you know, you can still see that it was a hardcore Iron Man, you know, thanks to Runelight and the high scores and all that. So there's a little bit of prestige. So I'm really hoping this account doesn't look terrible when I die, because this is going to be my main account. It's going to be the account I play on and do everything on. So once it dies, you know, it's just going to be obvious whether I'm good or not. That being said, you know, let's hop into the video. I'm sorry about the ramble. I'll probably throw up some background of doing quests or something. There it is, there it is, there it is, okay. All right, no sweat, no sweat. Easy dub. No, come on, <laughs> come on, please. Not like this, not like this, no. <laughs> oh, that's such bullshit. Oh, he's coming back, okay. No, no, I did not just miss my, <laughs> I did not, he's gone forever, isn't he? Oh yeah, he's gone for good. There. Oh, he's not coming fucking back. Oh, that's such bullshit, bro. Oh, dude, my beaver saw the whole thing. Oh, my beaver saw the whole thing, too. That's terrible. And I'll go hunt down that magpie. Surely it, like, comes back over here, right? 
You think if I just stare off into the sea, like, that magpie will come back? Yeah, no, that didn't work. Um, oh, it did work! Oh, get back to staring! Get back to staring. It's coming. It's being drawn in. I can... Oh. No, put the run on! Put the run on! No, put the run on, please! Oh, easy dub. Okay. Let's see. Just like I wanted. Like, I calculated. Truly calculated. I called it and everything. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? I looked them up and they said they're aggressive, but that one didn't attack me, but I mean like, it hadn't been there before. I feel like someone lured it in there trying to get me or something. I'm not sure, but I'm not chancing it. I made a friend doing Falling Stars and he basically convinced me I need to get the teleport to Tithe Farm. And now I'm getting ready to do Klein of Kryn and I'm gonna get my favor up in Hosidia so I can go do the woodcutting guild. And I just got really sidetracked and oh man, this is cheeks, bro. Doing the saltpeter stuff, no EXP at all. I don't even know how much I got because I can't check the bank and it doesn't give any EXP so Rinlight won't track it. So I, d I don't know. I could have like 500 in the bank, I could have 200. I grossly underestimated how much saltpeter I was getting. I wanted enough for 65, I guess I AFK'd a little bit too hard. Um, I think the way you do this is you just do 14 and like, click it like that. Oh, why is there a spade in my inventory? That's so dumb. Terrible farming EXP. And if you hear like sneezing and snorting, it's cause I have a dog in my lap. And I'll get back to you when this is done. I just need like, 75 I think because I thought about it and to do the tithe farm thing I'm gonna need way more farming than I have so that already isn't happening because of how long I'd take I got all 550 in my bank we require 800 bucket yo okay we got 59 mining uh, that actually is useful because now we can hop into the mining guild with a dwarven brew. I mean, we could before if we had a mature one, but there is between a quest or waiting five days on it to brew, and that just, neither one of those things was happening. I just wasn't feeling it. But, you know, 59 mining, we can get into the mining guild, get some coal. I haven't spent any of the stardust, but I think you can get a ring and it gives a bonus and the mining guild gives a bonus on top of that invisible so it should be like really good mining coal but okay anyway i also got a a clue geo delete i didn't even know that that was a thing no chance i can do it netsy not no Oh, how do I get that off my screen? Oh no. I just got here, I think this is the guy. Um, yeah. So let's do it. Only 2,000, okay. All right, star fragment. I don't know what any of that is. Um, I heard people talking about armor, but I don't guess I can wear that yet. I should have a pretty good mining boost in here and it's just so easy to get coal and coal is one of the things I think I need. You're mi I'm mining that instantly nearly, that's great. Cool, this is gonna be awesome. I, the, what is that? Crystals? 92? Whatever. I don't know, it don't matter, but I'm glad to be here. There's just a baby mole, that's pretty cute. Okay, Prospector Percy. Can I just... Oh, that's where the mining gear is. Okay. Okay. Cold bag, gym bag. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what to do with any of that. Do I have to talk to this guy? Can I just mine? All right. Okay, so this is supposed to be pretty AFK. I'm going to reset the hourly rate on my 
Run live tracker. Okay, that's not AFK at all. It just disappeared. How is this AFK? This is just like mining, but on a wall. This is not AFK. What in the... Whatever. Okay, well. I'll come back after a little bit. See how I feel about it. Right when I stopped recording, this thing just started going crazy. I got like five of them in a row. Literally. Okay, well. It won't do it on camera. And it quits on camera. Okay, so I think I just got to stop recording. I think that's the key here. Is I just got to stop recording. Okay, well now. Uh, I don't know who that is. That could be a bot for all I know. I'll take from a bot. What is that? A bag? I don't have a bag. Oh, do I need a bag? Oh, man. Yeah, there's just me and this one, maybe a bot guy out here. Oh, wait, no, I can go through here. Right? I just mine this and then pow pow. Is this guy taking my stuff? A sack? A nugget, okay. Alright. That's a lot of coal. I'm so happy with that. Oh yeah, okay. Fuck the gold, but I'm happy with the coal. The coal is what I'm happy about, because I hate mining coal. And that just solved it for me. So I will be down here uh, for a while. That's for sure. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Okay. Okay, so this place ain't bad. I mean, I think it's pretty cool. I, I mean, I don't know how AFK it is, but it's like... I guess I can smoke in between. I don't know. I'll figure something out. <laughs> There's 60 mining. I don't have to dwarven stat to get back down here ever again. And that actually went by quicker than I thought. I'm getting around 26k uh, EXP per hour down here at the metal load mine. It kind of can be AFK, but like just long enough to look at your phone, you know, nothing crazy. Yo, this guy just came up and gave me a bond. I don't know why that seems like a hack, but I feel like I thought he was like, turn accept aid on. My accept aid is off. Okay, so the smart thing to do if this was a lure is to like, hop worlds, right? Okay, I said thanks and he ran off. All right, so I'm not the asshole, but dude, that was cool. He said that, do I just redeem this? Yo, that was so cool of him. Okay, well, all right, see that, I didn't, he was just, I was, I'd literally been just woodcutting for a while and he just came up. That was cool as hell. That was the longest cutscene of my life. Oh my gosh, bro. That that did not end. That's, oh my gosh, that's crazy. What is this? Oh my gosh. I'm here in the Relic of Slayer Cave because I need to get a freaking white berry drop from these stupid lizards so I don't have to grow one or do something else equally terrible. Yes, okay, white berries. 66 cave crawlers. It took 66. That's not right. That is wrong. Bad. I figured I'd come over to the Chaos Druid Tower pretty close to a bank, and I remember back in the day I used to come here and grind this for hours, get some herbs, go sell them. And it was just good times. You'd have to hop worlds to find a free world, but... They, every world's free now, nobody comes here anymore, so I'm starting to think it's not the best idea, but, you know, bad idea never stopped me before, so I'll probably just stick this out. 
get a nice little fancy kill count or something just to show people what it what it averages and see where things are from there i don't know it's easy to afk here the herbs aren't all what i thought it to be and if they, this is what i was getting back in the day <laughs> well, 2,000 kills on run light coming at 1.23 million gp let's see what the ge value is a little bit less about a hundred thousand less we got 238 law runs pretty nice we're averaging barely over one gp per kill uh, a lot of mithril bolts, we got 69 head, not bad. Uh, 84 ran our weeds, those are the big ticket items. We got some sapphires and emeralds, no other jewels, uh, or gems rather. Um, it's about what I expected, I used to do this for a lot of time back in the day, so I'm, I'm hoping the herbs were just more back then. We're going to be ending off on 13-15 um, total level. Uh, really good improvement compared to when we started just for a couple weeks playtime. We ended up getting around 25 more quests. No combat tasks yet. Collections logged. I really don't know about these two, what's changed about these. But, you know, our bank value shot up. Let me just go ahead and put everything in here. We're talking... There's the beaver. We're talking overall 20.4 million, breaking the barrier. That's a good goal for the first episode. Our tabs are looking healthy. There's a lot of resources that I haven't really done yet, but I have an idea for the next episode and where I want to take it. That being said, thanks for sticking around and watching.